Hello guys, welcome back to Nibdroid Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix like a dragon infinite wealth is having crashing issue it is not launching won't launch freezing stuttering lagging low fps drop stuck on loading screen and even many more issue which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround the first one we have to do a restart for this we just need to go over here in the start go over here in the power icon do a restart once the restart is done just try launching the game and that is what we have to do next one is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so right now we are launching the game from steam so launching the game from steam might be the issue why you are having the crashing and all these things so we have to launch the game from the steam for this we just need to go over here in the game go to the library right click and go to the properties install it file and just click on the browse so that will take you to this and from here if you close this and if you check over here at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common like a dragon 8 so just open this particular folder go for media now from here we can launch the game so this is the application so just launch the game from here for many users in my knowledge it worked for them so you can try this out as well also i would like to make you notice two more steps that is one is all about we have to run the game as administrator and the next one is all about we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so hence uh, we are in the middle uh, hence within the installation folder i'll be showing you these two steps so what you need to do is we just need to select the application or navigate to the installation folder once afterwards just right click over here and go to the show more option go to properties go to compatibility click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and go for ok this is for the first one if this is not working try running the game in the compatibility mode so just go here in the properties compatibility click on run this game in the compatibility mode either you can try running the game in the windows 7 or you can try running the game in the windows 8 any one of things will be working fine and go for apply and go for ok and once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game if that is still not working we can move to the next one that is all about we have to launch the game and we have to press alt and tab i don't know how this is related but this even worked for many users so just launch the game press alt and tab and it worked for many users so you can try this out next one we have to launch make sure the game is having the date time and region is correct this we just need to go over here in the search and navigate to settings go for time and language go to the date and time make sure the time zone time automatically all these three three things are correct and also go back make sure language and region now from here we have to make sure the country or region we have to set this up into correct for example if you're from united states select united states if you're from united kingdom you have to select united kingdom and if you're from any other country do it accordingly Afterwards, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we can try the next one. That is all about we have to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer, navigate to uh, documents and over here you will be able to find the folder. So if you're not able to find the folder, just get into the folder my games and over here you will be able to find the folder for the game. So just delete the folder. Keep in mind when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game and you have to start from the scratch. But even though it worth a lot, so you can try this out. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the game and search for control panel. Go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to, hence it is an alphabet. Keep scrolling down and navigate to L. Like a dragon, infinite wealth is already there and the private and public both has to be marked. That is what we have to do. So. Imagine the game is not here, we can add it by default. So just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse, navigate to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, navigate to Steam apps, go for common. Now from here we have to select like a dragon. Over here we have to select right, uh, like a dragon, select the runtime folder, media, and we have to go over here and select this one and go for open and add it. So I'm getting the error because uh, it is added. So make sure both the private and public both has to be selected. And once you select it, once you select it, you are fine with it. Just go back to the game and try launch the game. 
So for many users, when they added the game, it worked for them. So you can try this out. And still, if you're having the trouble, what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step. That is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to do like this. That is what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, uh, multiple monitors might be connected. Multiple controllers might be connected. Joysticks might be connected. All the USB ports might be filled with something else which is causing this kind of issue. So just remove everything and once you remove everything, launch the game. Afterwards, just connect it back. Once you're in the game and you're good to go with the game, just connect it back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here. Now from here go to system configuration, navigate to the services and go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services and go for apply and go for ok. Now if you, you can try go for a restart, the users are watching this go for restart but I am going to go for exit without restart then try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay. Go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Make sure this is turned off, try launch the game, this will be working. If that is not the case, we have one more step. Given the commands in the launch option, so the first command is DX11. You can try giving the DX11 or if DX11 is not working, try giving the command DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with DX12 and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about we have to close all the overlay application. So you can check over here, go to the start menu, right click and go to the task manager. Now there are a lot of things running in the background. So all these things are actually utilizing the performance and that is why we are having the crashing issue. So we need to uh, remove the unwanted things, for example, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, which comes to the category of overclocking and overlay application. Just remove everything. Once afterwards, just launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the uh, graphics settings. Now from here we have to add the game, just click on the browse. Go to this PC, local disk C, go to program file x86, go for steam folder, navigate to steam apps, go to common. Now from here, go to the game, like a dragon. Uh, so over here we'll be able to find like a dragon. So select this one, runtime, media. Now select the application over here, open this, I mean add it. Once afterwards just click to the option, make sure this is high performance has been set. So this is on high performance and go for save. Once afterwards just close everything and we have to go back, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced tab and go to the settings and advance it. Go for change. Make sure this is blank and select the local list where the game is installed. And we have to set the value custom size which is initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. We need a calculator so just use a calculator. Type the uh, type your RAM that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1. Point f sorry that is we have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 14 and 152 copy this value and paste it. We have to move to the next one that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it go for ok and once every value is being set and we have to try launch the game once again. Even still if you are having the trouble you can try updating the graphics card so I will be providing a link in the description to both Nvidia as well as to the AMD. The NVIDIA users has to go to this link, select everything like your product type, product series, product, operating system, language, everything should be selected. And once you go for start search, you will be getting these kind of driver versions available for the download. So you can download the latest one, that is 541, uh, 551.23 which is released on January 24, 20, 2024. Few days back, just download this, install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. And if you are on the AMD, just go over here and go for submit. And you can try Windows 11, you can download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. We can also go over here and try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. But if the system is based on x64, you can download this one. If the system is based on x86, you can try downloading this one. And install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, what we need to do is we just need to update the windows which is quite important as well so we just need to go over here in the search and we have to navigate to settings now from here go to the windows update and just update the windows 
and make sure the windows is up to date and you can also try launch the game as well and also you can try uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back which worked for many users so just go over here and go to the manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling you have to keep in mind you should not be installing back on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk that is what you have to do or you have multiple local disk try from c to d or whatever it is and that will be just change the position of local disk then that is what you have to do and the last and the least one is all about we have to try verify integrity of game file which is actually a very important step so just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties and go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file so this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing which result in these kind of issues such as crashing not launching won't launch freezing and stuttering lagging low face drop black screen so these kind of issues will be fixed so we need to wait because the game is around 78.27 GB. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So once afterwards, I'll be concluding everything with few more steps. So just wait for this.
So once every wilds are successfully validated, just close everything and try launch the game. And these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.